Steady your face job for me. I wanna first of all stop any breakout you're having before you can now start thinking of fading the hyperpigmentation spot. Take my secrets, got them like precious money. I never hey guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're just coming across this channel for the first time, my name is Ogi. I make videos on skincare, motherhood, anything and everything in between, really, as I'm led by the spirit. Please take a seat and get comfortable. Let's dive right into today's video, okay? So if you're struggling with breakout and that acne is just not getting any better, this video is for you. I don't just want you to buy a product based on reviews, but also to understand the science behind the ingredient. So what is special about salicylic acid that makes it a star ingredient for acne or oily skin? So first of all, we need to understand what is special about salicylic acid and how it can help you stop that breakout because, because you have to, first of all, stop any breakout you're having before you can now start thinking of fading the hyperpigmentation spot. Um, as a recap for people that may not know, salicylic acid is a bitter hydroxy acid that dermatologists commonly use as chemical pill in percentages of 20 to 30 percentages however if you're buying this over the counter you won't find it in these percentages the concentrations you will find are usually going to be in the range of 1.5 to 2 percent and at this percentage it is still effective to unclog your pores and increase your cell turnover so let's just talk briefly about how salicylic acid came about in the ancient times egyptians greek and native americans used to use the bark of willow tree which contains salicylic acid to alleviate pain reduce fever and and treat various kinds of ailments. It was several years later after this that scientists now discovered that this salicylic acid does have keratolytic properties. By this I mean it has the ability to remove dead skin cells. The salicylic acid you would find on the market now are biosynthesized in the lab. A lot of them are not really from the back of willow tree but they are biosynthesized from um, essential amino acid like phenylalanine but that doesn't stop it from still being effective i'm just mentioning it for information purposes so i think it's also important for us to know the properties of salicylic acid that makes it such a wonderful ingredient it is a fat soluble chemical exfoliant which means that it is oil soluble and because of that it will penetrate deeply into your hair follicles and exfoliate your pores and in addition it has some anti-inflammatory properties which makes it very good for acne as it will penetrate deep into your pores unclog them and also calm the inflammation arising from acne. So let's just compare salicylic acid with other AHAs like glycolic acid which is also very popular. So in 2018, a group of researchers compared 8% glycolic acid with 2% salicylic acid for treating blackheads. And they found that glycolic acid did not decrease the density of blackheads while salicylic acid did. And they linked this ability of salicylic acid to decrease the density of blackhead to its oil solubility property. And because of that oil solubility property, it is able to penetrate deeper into the skin while glycolic acid, which is water soluble, will stay temporarily on the skin before evaporating so if you understand the cell biology this the cells of the body as well as that of the skin are made up of lipid layers which means that anything that is oil soluble will be easily absorbed into the skin and anything that is water soluble will find it difficult to penetrate into the skin and that is why salicylic acid is such a fantastic product because of its oil solubility property which means it is able to penetrate deeper into your your skin and unclog your pores. Some of the benefits of salicylic acid are that it will help you regulate your oil control. So by reducing your excess oil, it can minimize the appearance of enlarged pores and help to mattify the skin. So if you have oily or combination skin, salicylic acid should be your friend. That doesn't mean that if you have dry skin, you can't use salicylic acid, but you just have to be aware that it can cause extra dryness. So you need to be cautious with all other kind of ingredients are you using using salicylic acid. Other benefits of salicylic acid, of course, are that you're probably aware are exfoliation. It will help you remove dead skin cells and promote cell turnover, which will leave you with a smoother and healthier looking skin. Lastly, salicylic acid, of course, is used to treat acne because it has the ability to unclog your pores. So now you're aware of the properties of salicylic acid. This was just a brief recap anyway. Let's talk about how you can incorporate it into your skincare routine. It is always best to start slowly 
with the lowest concentration possible and if after 24 hours of first trying out salicylic acid you have no irritation then you can now start applying it every other day that is if you apply today you skip the next day and then you apply the following day this will give your skin time to you know get used to the product when you notice that your skin has gotten used to it and there's no irritation you can now then start working your way up by applying it every day it's always best to start slowly and gradually build your way up so also remember that less is more so if you're starting off it's best to start with a pea-sized amount and just gently apply on your face no need to scrub it's a chemical exfoliant so you don't need any physical action to get it to do the work by being a chemical exfoliant it just easily breaks up the bonds on your dead skin cells and make them easily fall off so you don't need any physical action to get it to work. so just apply gently on your face and then it does work really <laughs> most over the counter salicylic acid are between 0.5 to 2 percent so if you've got really sensitive skin you can start off at the lowest concentration you can find and then build your way up as you tolerate it so start off gently start off by skipping certain days of the week and then see how you um, tolerate it before um, gradually progressing to maybe applying it every day so in the market salicylic acid comes in various forms so you can find it as cleansers toners serums spot treatment you name it as cleansers um, they are very convenient and you can easily incorporate this into your skincare routine because while you're cleansing away the dead oils and impurities if you're using a salicylic acid cleanser you're also gently exfoliating your skin if you're using toners on the other hand it will help to balance your skin ph level so the normal ph of the skin is between 4.5 and 5.5 according to the national institute of health so ideally your toner should have a slightly acidic ph to help maintain your normal skin's ph so the skin is normally a bit acidic so whatever product you're um, applying on your face should be a bit acidic to help maintain that normal ph balance and the acidity of your face also helps to keep away um, acne forming bacteria so if you're using a toner that is slightly acidic it's also very good as it will help maintain your, your normal skin's ph if you also choose to use salicylic acid as a serum which is also a good choice because as serums they are fast absorbing they will penetrate deeply into your pores and help to dissolve oil and debris um you can also use salicylic acid as post treatment in fact if you're struggling with acne and you don't have a spot treatment cream made of salicylic acid ah you are in the wrong goal <laughs> because it will provide fast acting relief by reducing inflammation and promoting healing it will minimize the appearance of your blemishes overnight like if you suffer from breakouts a lot you should have one of these as they will help your, your acne to heal faster and in a cleaner fashion and then end up leaving you with a fewer post-inflammatory scars you get all right so you can also find salicylic acid as pills as wipes or pads personally my favorites are either toners or serums just stick around and i'll tell you why these are my personal favorite okay anyway whether you prefer salicylic acid as cleansers or as serums or as pills just consider your skin type and always remember to start with lower percentages and build up as your skin tolerates okay this brings me to the next thing i want to talk about which is ingredients you shouldn't combine your salicylic acid with so we've talked about incorporating salicylic acid into your routine and definitely you may have other ingredients you're using as well so, so it is important to know some of the ingredients you should never combine your salicylic acid with so a common side effect of salicylic acid is dryness and from dryness it can cause irritation so you should never combine your salicylic acid with products like retinoids retinoids will increase your cell turnover and reduce the appearance of wrinkages and hyperpigmentation and acne we all know these are the benefits of retinoids however when you're combining retinoids with an exfoliating agent like salicylic acid retinoids will cause the new cells to travel to the skin surface at a rapid rate right while salicylic acid will keep removing them so at the end of the day you end up with a vicious cycle of over exfoliation and irritation this is because the young immature cells don't hold as much moisture and are more delicate and prone to damage so if you're using retinoid to renew the skin it is very important to use other non-exfoliating products and allow the skin cell cycle to normalize okay the next ingredient you shouldn't combine your salicylic acid with is vitamin c vitamin c is a potent antioxidant as you all know and it will help protect your skin from free 
radicals while also um, fading your hyperpigmentation and brightening up your complexion. However, if you're combining salicylic acid with vitamin C, it doesn't really make a lot of sense because first of all, hyperpigmentation is as a result of some sort of inflammation, be it environmental or conditions like acne. So in order to treat hyperpigmentation that comes after inflammation, it is important to get rid of the inflammation first. Yes. So if you're using salicylic acid to get rid of your active, of your active acne, vitamin C should come later after your acne is healed and the inflammation is gone that being said if you want to use vitamin c and salicylic acid as part of your skincare package you have to use them in a separate routine so for example use salicylic acid in the evening and then vitamin c in the morning do you understand because you don't want to combine them really as it may just be counterproductive using the two in the same routine other ingredients you should do combine your salicylic acid with are one tranexamic acid because tranexamic acid and salicylic acid can be too aggressive on your skin so you don't want to really combine the two of them in the same routine another ingredient is hydroquinone this is because hydroquinone will reduce your melanin production so melanin is a pigment that gives you the color of your skin and in inflammation the skin generally produces a lot more melanin and then that is what gives you your hyperpigmentation so Combining salicylic acid and hydroquinone can make your skin a lot more sensitive. So it might cause further irritation for you and cause further breakouts. So I'm just going to review some of the really popular products on the market. We have the CeraVe Renewing Essay Cleanser. This cleanser boasts of providing with gentle, non-irritating exfoliation. They have said it contains three essential ceramides, hyaluronic acid and niacinamide. And it is fragrance-free and enriched with antioxidant vitamin D. However, However, it doesn't state what percentage of salicylic acid it contains but it goes for 24 pounds for a 473 ml bottle which is a fair deal in my opinion also from CeraVe is a blemish control cleanser which contains 2% salicylic acid. It is fragrance free and contains niacinamide as well. The ingredient list of this blemish control cleanser and that of the um, SA Renewing Cleanser, they look a bit similar but they've categorically stated that this product contains an active ingredient of 2% salicylic acid. So if I were to choose one out of these two cleansers, I would go for this blemish control cleanser next are toners um number one on my list are the polar's choice two percent bha lotion exfoliant it is suitable for all skin type and it is formulated with a blend of plant oils and antioxidant it contains allantoin which is a byproduct of uric acid and has skin soothing properties it also contains oat extract which has both antioxidant and skin soothing properties i will include the full ingredient list here as well it does not contain perfume which is one thing i like about um, this product it does not contain fragrances or the nature that call so if you have sensitive skin it is a good product for you it costs about 35 pounds for your 100 ml bottle another popular toner is a Cos RX AHA slash BHA clarifying toner, which goes for twenty pounds for a one hundred and fifty ml bottle. It is formulated with the willow bark and apple fruit water, and contains both glycolic acid and salicylic acid. I will also include the ingredient list here as well. They, however, did not state what percentage of salicylic acid it contains. But looking at the ingredient list, it seems to contain more of salicylic acid compared to glycolic acid. As salicylic acid is top on the list, okay. I will also include the ingredient list as well. Well, they are next are serums number one for me is a minimalist two percent salicylic acid serum which they've stated also contains an active oligopeptide that works in synergy with salicylic acid to inhibit acne bacteria it is fragrance free as well costs eight pounds 99 for a 30 ml bottle which is very good and if you look at the ingredient list it has a lot of soothing extract which is good if you're having lots of breakout and you're using actives as well. It will help soothe your skin. It is a personal favorite, really. The next is the Ordinary Acid 2% Solution, which goes for £6.10 for a 30ml bottle. It is also fragrance-free and oil-free. Another popular toner is the Anoa BHA Toner. It's very popular. It's been trending for a while and you can give it a go. I personally have not tried it, but I've heard a lot of good reviews about it. Now let's talk about Pot treatment first is the medic 8 which goes for 25 pounds for 15 mil yes post treatment cream can be a bit expensive this is because they come in small sizes 
but they do a lot of work like a little drop of it is very active it contains two percent salicylic acid as well as niacinamide azelaic acid and dioic acid next is a kale's blue herbal spot treatment which goes for 21 pounds for a 15 ml bottle and contains 1.5 percent salicylic acid as well as ginger root extract the last item on the list for spot treatment for me is the pure skin sos blemish gel by oriflame it contains salicylic acid pantenol basil and green tea extract these are all antioxidant and they have soothing properties oriflame however has only listed what percentage of salicylic acid it contains but this is the one i've been using personally for as post treatment to deal with any active acne i have because i'm a brand partner with oriflame and i need to test out the products that i'm recommending to other people and it's been effective for me it goes for 12 pounds for a six mil tube so of all these forms the best for me would be serums or toners plus the spot correcting cream i prefer the toners and serum because they stay on your skin therefore the skin is longer exposed to them to get all the benefits of salicylic acid the spot treatment cream are also a must have too because it will shorten the lifespan of acne breakout Really, when I tell you that struggling with acne and you don't have a sports treatment cream, you are in the wrong way <laughs> because this is game changing. If you try out a sports treatment cream for the first time, you ask yourself, why will not be using it all this while? Well? Post treatment cream are really that good. But the post treatment cream I must have to because they will shorten the lifespan of your acne breakout. Another important thing I need to mention also is that with acne treatment, you have to be strategic. Don't just go on a frenzy and start buying book cleansers, serums, toners, and using all of them in one routine. You have to stick to only one of these forms so you don't over exfoliate your skin. So in your routine, stick to either just the cleansers or the serum or the toners in one routine so you don't over exfoliate your skin and dry it out and cause further irritations and subsequently more breakouts okay so if you're using any product that has an exfoliating agent in your routine you have to be mindful of not using another exfoliating product in that routine and even for that day because generally it is advised that you exfoliate once a day so if you're using an exfoliating product in the morning be careful not to use an exfoliating agent in the evening because you may just over exfoliate your skin and cause further irritation and cause further breakouts so be mindful of what ingredients you're using in your skincare routine so in summary i've talked about the history of salicylic acid we looked at the properties of salicylic acid and how to incorporate it into your skincare routine we also compared it with ahs like glycolic acid and we looked at popular products we reviewed some of the popular products in the market i really hope you guys enjoyed watching this video if you did please leave a comment in the comment section also, if you have any questions at all, please drop it in the comment section and I'll get to it. So that is it for today, you guys. As always, knowledge is power and having the right information can transform your skincare game. I'll see you all in my next video. Jamari is calling. <laughs>